Hey, everybody. It's 12 o'clock. Actually, no, it's 3 o'clock. What am I talking about? It's not Wednesday. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend going on. Hope everyone had a blast. Okay, vacation is up. <laughs> Oh my word, oh my word. All right, when you get in the room, make an announcement so I know your beautiful faces are here watching. Jay, what's up brother, how are you? Joseph, thank you for joining us. Afternoon Jay, how was your weekend? I know you had to do some working. Um, I hope uh, you didn't have to do a ton of work. I hope it was all nice and mellow for you, bro. Scott No, how are you? Justin Hunt, how are you? Plug in the microphone right there. There we go. Test, test, testing. One, two, three, four. How are you guys? Daryl, D Dog's in the house. Always a pleasure to have in. Worked yesterday. Yeah, I worked a little bit this morning doing some customer service to help out. Dude, what's up, Robert? How are you? Oh, good, Scott. How was your trip? I hope it was well. I hope you got to do lots of visiting in. Always amazing to see all you beautiful people here. Got some fun stuff here in the catacombs and some fun little announcements. Um, in case you guys have not gotten the VIP newsletter, a bunch of information dropped. It's a very cool, crucial information for y'all. Let me just get a couple things. Also, I found out why I had a glitch last week, so I wanted to apologize to you guys for that. Um, whenever I try to bring someone on live on the show, I need to make sure I uh, take off the microphone. So I'm going to do some tests before I actually uh, do it for real because I don't want to, you know, miss out on y'all, y'all. So you guys see it or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Eric, good to see you. All right, guys. Man, it's good to be back. It's good to see some familiar faces popping up on here. Thank you everyone for all the messages and all the well wishes and all the craziness that was Black Friday. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you guys. First things first, it is a very important day here at Coffin Comics. And I'm sure all you fans already know this, but um, today's Brian Polito's birthday. Hooray! Happy birthday, Brian. Thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for sending all the well wishes and all the amazing stuff. And Brian decided he wanted me to make an announcement. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure some of you saw it earlier. For Brian's birthday, from today at 10 a.m. till tomorrow at 10 a.m., all remaining vault items that are left, 20% off. 20% off on the remaining vault items. So you have roughly till 10 a.m. tomorrow. Crazy sick deals. I was floored. I was not expecting to get that message this morning. So uh, all you fans out there that are fans of, uh, let me tilt this up a bit so you can see my scruffy, fluffy face. Ooh, pardon me. Didn't mean to burp. Oh, goodness. Tammy. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Which skull? I have, I'm surrounded by skulls around here, Tammy. I got at least three behind me. I got this groovy guy right here. And, you know, little skulls. Yeah, I'm surrounded by skulls because we're coughing comics. And we're all about it. I even got two really beautiful golden ones over there, too. <laughs> Tammy, thank you very much for joining us today. Eric, as always. Scott, Jay. All right, guys. So it's Brian Polito's birthday. And um, we're going to go ahead and do 20% off the remaining items on the vault. Um, I was shocked. I was floored, like I said before. Um, I was not expecting to hear that. Um, but Brian was like, heck, it's my birthday. Let's have some fun. 
Okay, so we're having fun remaining items that are part of the vault that were part of Black Friday are now 20% off till 10 a.m. tomorrow. So just so y'all know, now's your chance. <clears throat> Do I wear? Um, depending if I ate a lot of bread this week, uh, about a large, extra, extra large is safe to go because, you know, when I inflate, when I eat good Mexican or something, whoosh, like a total balloon. Um, and then it takes me about a week to kind of deflate back to my normal size. So extra large is always a safe bet because like Santa Claus, my belly extends and decreases weekly. So yeah, thank you, Miguel. How are you, Miguel, by the way? Uh, it's good to see you. I don't know where this flaming school came from, Robert. I don't know. Um, Brian just brings in some of the coolest stuff and it's like, oh, hey, here's, here's something to display while we're doing videos or something. Like, I don't remember the tiki face that's over here and part of the bar. I mean, stuff just appears. It's like magic in this place. Um, so yes, 20% off the remaining items. Uh, for those who missed it on Wednesday uh, during the Catacomb show at Swore Nation, uh, we announced the shipping update. Uh, the new ship date for the Hall of Fiend Spooktacular Coffin Editions will be the week of December 7th, so next week. Uh, Brian said, candidly, printing the uh, coffin-shaped editions to the same exacting standard as our other books has been a challenge and has required several revisions. However, remain committed to the quality you expect from coffin, and you will see it reflected in the books when you receive them. Thank you for your patience and your understanding. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. Brian Polito, Coffin Comics Publisher. So, also, another thing I mentioned. There is a shipping update. Lady Death Seductress 1-6 scale statue is shipping early 2021. Early January 2021. That beautiful statue, the Sed Lady Death Seductress 1-6 statue, will be shipping. Holy cow. All right, what do we got here? There's some shows. January 21st is shipping update, first quarter 2021. Um, Pre-orders start on the Hell Witch 6-inch action figure. Um, first quarter of 2021, pre-order starts on the 1 -fifth scale Hell Witch statue. Um, May 21st, the 15-inch Lady Death Majestic statue launches on Kickstarter. So, get ready guys, May 2021. We've got some stunning statues. There's three of them. I'll show you guys uh, again uh, later on in the show to show you what they're looking at. But that's going to be on May 2021. So this is some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, the second quarter of 2021, pre-orders start on the La Muerta 6-inch figure. I am so looking forward to that. I'm going to have to put down part of my paycheck towards it. Uh, also, another new date, uh, Swarm Fest is going to be the weekend of February 25th, 26th, 27th of 2022. Three days of fun, collecting, and camaraderie. It's going to be a blast, guys. Those who made it to the Fiend Fest know this is going to be even better. I know it's going to be better because we're going to have everyone from around the world gathering and having a great time and loving our mutual appreciation of all things Coffin Comics and all things that the great mind of Brian Polito has made. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Also on the VIP's newsletters guide, there's a link to it. If you haven't already signed up, this is where you get all this great information. So right there, we're doing a spotlight on Joel Gomez, artist of um, La Muerta, which I highly recommend reading. Very talented gentleman. And it also shows you some of the stuff that are available to order uh, for La Muerta, both new and old see some other things I'd like to announce today for you guys. See if there's anything else. Oh, just more of that. Sworn Nation. Also, guys, if you have any customer service questions, um, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Again, that's inquiries at coffincomics.com. Hours of operation for the uh, customer service is Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Saturdays and Sundays, we are closed. Um, and sometimes we're definitely closed during the certain holidays, but sometimes there's one of us up there helping out to answer the questions. So I was doing that on uh, Black Friday and on Saturday, helping you folks who are asking questions. So it's always fun to help out. 
Again, uh, on the newsletter, the big news is it's today is Brian's birthday, and it's really fun. It's a really beautiful write-up we did about uh, Brian, um, like a little brief history. There's some great photographs, really fun stuff, guys. I highly recommend signing up for our newsletter. It is the coolest newsletter out. I highly recommend it. You get tons of information. I think I see Bob Cronister's jumped on. But yeah, guys, check it out. Great photo album of Brian through the ages. Some great kid photos. Um, you know, really cool, like, candid stuff. Young Brian, skateboarding Brian. A, lot, a whole lot of Brian in this week's VIP newsletter. Okay, I've mentioned that the remaining Volt items will go to 20% off until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Lady Death uh, Kickstarter is cruising along. Everyone is just absolutely going crazy, picking and packing orders. Um, also, for 11 days, coming up, we have the Hellwitch Sacrilegious Latch Hands pop-up uh, crypt. Uh, that goes into effect uh, today on Monday the 1st and ends on the 11th of December at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Great chance to pick up some of the Hell Witch stuff you might have uh, passed on during the Kickstarter. Now's your chance. All right, so let's let the fun begin. It is catacombs time. I've got a lot of really uh, fun stuff. Again, classic stuff since um, eBay are being snots and boogers. So I'm bringing the fun to you guys and all the treasures I feel that is deserved. Bob, it's good to see you. How are you? How are you? I was giving Brian. Oh, dude, thank you, Robert. That's this is what you're talking about? That's awesome. This is a really impressive looking skull. So, dude, thank you very much, Robert. It's great when you see um, things that have been dropped up by fans uh, sporadically around uh, HQ. It's a lot of fun. just shows that we have lots of love for you guys. All right, let's get the ball rolling. Got some classics here. Um, classics in uh, about 15, 16-year-old books from Avatar. Uh, I've made sets of two of these, and that is the Belladonna set one. And set one consists of the 2004 Con Special, the Issue 2 Premium, right there. Also included is the Leader of the Pack cover, and the Issue 5 Premium cover. So four issues inside. I was hoping I could have um, complete runs, but I did not. All I had was what I have in sets one and set two. Now set two consists of the following. Yes, it will have the 2004 con premium edition like set one. Um, it also includes the preview, uh, the Amoral. Oh God, I'm butchering this guy's names. Amoral, Amorum, Amorum, Armorum, yes. Preview book, issue two premium, and an issue five premium. So there is definitely a one book difference in here. This is set two. Once these are done, I no longer have Belladonna issues at all. The whole part of the Avatar publication will be closed. Boom. Gone. It went to you guys. All right, so... Speaking of the fun stuff, I went ahead and I decided, you know what? What a better way than to get all you slasher fans, hands, Brian's Nightmare on Elm Street, fear book number one. I have the remaining copies. I took everything off of eBay and they are now here at the catacombs. Click on the link and that'll get you to the selections that are available today and possibly a couple things that were left over from last week. I highly doubt it because holy cow, the catacombs keep selling out of everything. Another great classic slasher. I believe this is also going to be my last copy. This is A Nightmare on Elm Street, issue one, Paranoid. This is the regular cover. I believe I have uh, one or two of these left and that's it. They are gone. Gone, daddy gone. You know, I think most comic book companies, if they actually were smart, 
and they have the licensing to a lot of the 80s slasher and horror characters, they should just say, hey, Brian, come write this for us because um, you're a fan and you'll do a good job, which, you know, of course he will. Next up, Nightmare on Elm Street, issue one. This is Paranoid Gore Cover. Only have a few copies of these left, and once they are gone, that is it. They are gone. Also be a great opportunity to get Brian to sign classic 80s slasher comics that he wrote. Highly, highly recommend it. I think I got like three or four copies of this, and then that's it, guys. And gals, they are gone. Do -do -do. Let's see what else do we have here? Um, no, Eric, I actually just started showing things, but in case you missed the announcement, Eric, this is, this is for you. Um, out of the blue, uh, get a message this morning. Brian said the remaining items in the vault for the Black Friday sale are now 20% off for his birthday, uh, until 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I was kind of like, holy crap, that's amazing. That's truly amazing. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, I'll have to tilt him forward. Um, I used to have a cameraman, but now I do everything solo, especially with the shutdown. So thank you, Tammy. Let me know if there's anything you want me to point out to you. And I'd be more than happy to do that for you, Tammy. Just give a shout out or shout out, text out, <laughs> uh, please. And, uh, I'd love to bring forward, uh, what you're looking for. Also, if you're new in here, Tammy, if you click on the links I, I put, you should be able to find the items I'm showing. Um, all the items I'm showing are in a landing page called the Catacombs, if you are interested. Jeffrey Walsh is in the house. All right. Now we're really going to have some fun, everybody. Jeffrey Walsh is in the house. All right, everybody. I still got a couple more of these. Not many left, but once they are gone, they are gone. This is... Nightmare on Elm Street, number one, Paranoid. These are the Platinum Foils. Platinum Foil Editions. Ooh, look at the foil. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Like I say, once these are gone, these are gone. That's it. These are my last copies. Um, they also come with the cool little COA in the back as well. And then uh, also some of these have a mini poster, the premium foils too. So kind of cool or platinum foils. All right. Uh, yes. Um, I think someone just forgot to put that Eric on the uh, thing, but I programmed four days worth of vault stuff. So yeah, I thought I replied back to you in a message on Facebook. I might've forgotten it. It's been a crazy week. It was a crazy week. Oh, Jeffrey, you are being such the bully. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I swear, you folks. Next up, I have the Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the Paranoid cover. Paranoid, Paranoid. I have, it looks like, five copies left. Five left, and that is all she wrote. And like most things on the catacombs, they are only available for about five days. And then, like sands through the hourglass. Dust in the wind, dudes. Yeah, guys, just take a look. Um, I got more stuff. Also, let's see. Eric, if you're a big yo-yo fan, uh, message me. I'll let you know if I have anything more lying around. Because um, right now, um, a lot of the additions I've been putting up for yo-yo, um, her remarks and just some of the uh, publisher files I had for her. Oh, my gosh. Um, her stuff is just flying out, as is Don McTague's, of course. I mean, her stuff has always been, you know, crazy sales. Uh, but... Yo-Yo stuff is definitely just picking up steam. Um, I Hopefully, I can get some more additions uh, with her art on it because um, I love her style. And, oh, my gosh, um, she's growing in popularity. So um, definitely message me, and I'll let you know if I have anything lying around. 
Next up, I have the Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid Number Dose. That's number two to me and you. All right. Remember, click on the links to make your selections of what I'm showing today. There might still be a few things left over from last week's uh, catacombs, but I think I'm going to lean towards uh, I doubt it because lately everything's been flying off. So um, really sweet deals. All right. These are my last two copies again. Nightmare on Elm Street, issue two of Paranoid. These are the platinum foils. And whoever picked up that Nightmare on Elm Street royal blue uh, foil I had last week, props to you, man. Holy cow. Um, I thought that one I might have to re-offer later on down the road, but um, one of you Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans saw it and scooped it up. So good on you. I hope, uh, I hope it's... Uh, Going to a very good home. I say I love seeing uh, the photos I've been seeing from you guys um, showing off. Oh, hey, look, we got this going on, that going on, and showing me all the pictures of the great stuff uh, you all um, have been picking up. So I really love seeing what you guys have gotten and seeing whose it's going to go to and just seeing how folks are, are displaying it and just really excited to share their collection with everyone. And that's one thing I love about our community is a whole lot of sharing. See if there's any questions going on. Boop -a doop -a doo. <sighs> do do do. <laughs> uh, for now, okay. I don't know, dude. Uh, Miguel. Um, I remember meeting Yo-Yo last year. Yeah, last year at uh, Fiend Fest, and amazing, amazing artist. Um, really down to earth uh, artist. Um, I can't wait for Sworn Fest just to see who else is going to be there with this. Also, props. Let's see. Okay. Real quick, I want to go ahead and show you guys the statues uh, I was mentioning that we'll be doing a Kickstarter for in May. Uh, I don't know if they figured out the structure of everything. Oh, there's a really cool golden skull I found. But these are the ones I was talking about. Uh, we will be doing a Kickstarter for these statues here. There's the crimson ones. These are really beautiful. Uh, Brian did a little video on them. Updating us all on it. Just beautiful stuff. It's the old white one. This one's stunning too. I can't decide which one I like best because each one um, has its own uniqueness that just makes it absolutely beautiful. So we'll be doing a Kickstarter for these. These are the prototypes, guys. So that's why you'll see a little uh, looseness on the gaps. I don't want to touch it because I had to put couple of these together and it's real nerve-wracking when you know, oh, hey, there's only one of these. So if you mess it up, well, that's on you. No pressure. No pressure at all. So we will be doing a Kickstarter in May for those three beauties right there. I know. Everyone needs that statue. This is going to be a really interesting Kickstarter. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how it goes. It should be neat. So... This is what you can expect in uh, May of this upcoming year. And then also the release of this beautiful pre-order everyone did. This is going to be January. So coming up, everyone who did pre-orders, get ready because here she comes. It's really beautiful, beautiful piece. All right. A little disappointed in myself this Thanksgiving. I did not end up uh, eating as much as I had hoped. I actually didn't even go in for seconds. Um, that's totally not me. Normally, I'll have seconds and thirds. Uh, this year, no bueno. So I didn't get very fluffy. All right, I'm going to get this down. All right, so I'm going to bring everything down and show it to you all. Also, everybody, happy holidays. I can see that now. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy whatever it is you believe in or have faith in. 
long as it makes you happy and it makes everyone around you glow, what does it matter? So everyone have a wonderful holiday season. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. These are all items on the landing page catacombs. Click on the link to pick it up. Nightmare on Elm Street, number two, Paranoid. This is a standard cover. These are my last copies. Once they are done, they are done. I also have two copies left of issue two, the platinum foil covers. These are all I have left. Once they are done, they are done. Get them while I got them, so I won't be having them for very long. Let's see, I need that. To, wow. Jeffrey, men need platinum covers. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. Who doesn't love platinum covers? Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid, number one. This is the terror cover. I have a few copies of these left. Once these are gone, these are gone. Um, I'll, you'll slowly be seeing uh, more uh, classic Lady Death stuff um, showing up on the catacombs, um, as well as uh, if I can get my hands on uh, some classic uh, chaos stuff, uh, maybe some purgatory. I'm doing some looking to see if I have any chastity left. And stuff like that. So I'm going to be mixing it up on the catacombs for a while. Having a lot of uh, old stuff. Sprinkle it in with some new editions. APs, BPs, uh, and graded books are coming your way too, everybody. That's right. Uh, really beautiful graded copies of Coffin Comic Editions. Next up. This is the premium foil for Paranoid Numero Uno. I have two or three copies. Once they are gone, they are gone. Click on the link. Robert Zabarski, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Someone got them both. What? Damn, that was quick. Robert's in the house. Everyone round applause to Robert. Hey, look at that. I love your little cartoon emoji, dude. I, the one I made, uh, I downloaded the app. It looks nothing like me. It, it looks kind of disturbing. Do I look disturbing? I don't think so. All right, let's see. What do I got next? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't want to cover that skull. There we go. All right, next up. This is Nightmare on Elm Street. Paranoid number one. This is the gore covers. Get them while I got them, guys. This is the last copies. These are the last copies I have. I'm hoping to goodness I can get my hands on some more. Uh, I'm especially hoping, hoping I can get my hands on at least a, a Child's Play Chucky comic. Um, I think Devil's Do published some that Brian did, and I'm trying so hard to find something from that era. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm digging. I'm hunting. I'm looking for those treasures for everyone. Uh, here we go. Paranoid number one standard cover in the house. Get them while I got them, because once they're gone, they're done. That's it. Stick a fork in them, just like turkey downer. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Boy, did I gobble it at plate up. <laughs> what? <laughs> All bald guys look alike. Well, I, I have hair, and it looks nothing like me. I always thought it looked, like, creepy. I don't know. Mine didn't turn out good. Fear book number one. Standard covers, these are it. This is the last I have. And everyone seemed to love the Jason X and the Friday 13th ones I put up about a week ago. Because uh, I think pretty much all of that is gone. Gone. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gone. So I'm hoping to get my hands on more slasher stuff. Um, yeah, because I absolutely love uh, throwing that stuff up here over at Coffin Comics. Cause it's, it's totally right up our alley. It's right up your guys' alley. A lot of you guys are big fans of that. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Boom, boom, boom. All right, 3.30. So I'm going to try to attempt to bring someone on camera. I don't know if it's going to work because um, I got to do it slightly differently. I got to unhook the microphone. So um, the only, <laughs> what, what conversations are you guys having in there? <laughs> all right first is say me i'm gonna put you on camera with me 
Uh, I want to know uh, a little bit about your year. I want to know about your holiday and um, what is it you're looking forward to next year and what's some of your uh, favorite items you collected um, or that you've found this past year. Um, it's kind of like a year recap. I kind of want to touch you guys' brain and uh, see where you guys are at for, for this past year. I know it was uh, <laughs> ah, 2020. I'll be happy when you're gone. I used to think that would be a great year. You know, 2020, ooh, eh, yeah, it was mediocre, to say the least. All right, first person in the room to say me, I'm going to bring you on camera. Bring it in, bring it in. The little Christmas tree Joshua. They named it Joshua, by the way. Here we go. None of y'all, none of y'all want to get on camera with me? Yeah, dude, that was whole, oh, that really sucked. Yes, the passing of um, David Prowse, who played Darth Vader. And he played a couple Frankenstein monsters. All right, here we go, Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey time now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see if we can get you on. Bam. Oh, no, Jeffrey, it's not letting me add you. I can't add you, Jeffrey. Why not? Let's plug this back in so you guys can hear me a little better. Oh, that'd be a great interview. You know, interview while you're driving. Hey, Jeffrey, if you could, it's not allowing me Um, basically I, it shows me a list of my viewers and I can click on a name. It says add. I don't see the ad next to your name. I got it for Robert and Miguel and oh, boom. There you go. There you go. I'm going to be right.